We had so much, so well, maybe not so much, maybe that's an exaggeration, but we had more sunshine than we've seen in a while today. And it sure was a lot warmer out there. Right, but things have been changing. We'll see another cold front moving through, and that would be a low pressure system, and that's exactly what we're talking about in our Ask the Meteorologist question this week. So I want to go ahead and talk about Nancy's question. She sent me an email wanting to know about the different units of pressure, what are the different ways that we measure pressure, and why do we have them? For example, what is a millibar? That was one of her questions. So Nancy from Grants Pass, a very good question. One of the ways we use pressure is especially important on surface maps and this is a surface analysis of the United States. This was just yesterday's surface analysis and this would actually be the forecast for the surface analysis. So you can see the cold fronts on there, the stationary fronts, those highs and lows and then if you look very carefully you can see some numbers next to those highs and lows. It'll say 1023 or it'll say 1039. Well those are pressure, surface pressures given in millibars. And millibars are just one way that we use to measure pressure. And one way that you might have heard of are inches of mercury, and that's used with mercury barometers to actually measure the pressure. So for an example, you would see 29.92 inches of mercury in hectopascals. That might not be something that you've ever heard of before. That's the SI unit of measure, and that's used and understood by scientists. And even though meteorologists are scientists, we stick with millibars. Hectopascals and millibars convert exactly the same between each other, but we were, have been using millibars since around 1929. It was uh, introduced by a meteorologist, and so because we are creatures of habit, we just like millibars better than hectopascals, even though hectopascals, as I mentioned, convert just the same and is the SI unit of measure as our kilograms, as our meter. So a very good question, Nancy. And if you have your Ask the Meteorologist question, you'll receive a $10 Grange Co-op gift card if your question is featured. Just follow the link on your screen. We'll talk more about your forecast coming up and that low pressure system moving through bringing us that cold front. But now here's a live look outside on the Newswatch 12 Weather Cam Network. It's brought to you by AirportChevy.com. Watching out for you, this is Newswatch 12 at 6.